A, B and C rent a land. A puts 10 tractors for 7 months, B puts 12 tractors for 5 months and C puts 15 tractors for 3 months. If the rent of the land is 1,75,000, how much amount have to pay by A? If you observe the question, as usual, we discussed that uh, like partnership, we can work out the problems on rent also, right? So, here what happens? Number of tractors into time period. In this ratio, we have to distribute. So, 10 rupees, uh, 10 tractors into 7 months. This is for A and coming to B. So, 12 tractors for 5 months, 12 into 5. And coming to C, it is 15 tractors for 3 months, 15 into 3. Okay, in all the three, five is common. Okay, let's cancel with five. Okay, five twos, five cancel, five threes. Two sevens are fourteen is two, twelve is two, three threes are nine. So they should distribute the profits in the ratio fourteen is to twelve is to nine. Okay. Now what he is saying is uh, total rent he has given one lakh seventy five thousand. In that he is asking about the share of A. A means fourteen parts out of Total is 14 plus uh, 12, 26 plus 9 is 35. Okay. So, 35 fives are 175. Or else you can cancel with 5 and 7, no problem. Okay. So, uh, if I cancel with the 35 fives and having 3 other zeros as usual, 14 fives are 70 and having 3 other zeros. What is the share of A's rent? Uh, 70,000. That is first option as the answer. Let us see the next beautiful one. A, B, C or A, B, C has taken a car for rent. They used a car for 7, 6 and 4 hours respectively. So, 1190 rupees charged by them for the rent. How much money we have to pay? So, in general, in the rent problems, we will distribute in the ratio of number of cars or number of vehicles or number of cows into time period. But in this question, no need of number of cars. Why? Because all together has taken a single car. Okay. So, one car means number of cars are one for each. Okay. So, then happily we can distribute the rent in the ratio of their time periods of utilization. 7 is to 6 is to 4. Okay. Total rent is 1190. In that, he is asking about the share of B. B means 6 parts out of 7 plus 6 plus 4 is 17 into double one nine zero okay 17 ones sevens and having zero 70 into six is how much 420 so what is the answer none of this is the answer actually for this particular question no need to solve the question why because the total rent is 1190 b rent means definitely less than that but he has given all the numbers more than that that means that that is possible or impossible directly answer is none of this without uh, solving the problem also we can answer Right, this is the next and important model that we have to learn actually. This question I will explain you in two different ways. Okay, so both the ways you practice, whichever in the examination you feel comfortable, you can practice. Number one is raw methodology, number two is processed methodology. Okay, right, A invested one fifth capital for one third duration, B invested one fourth for half of the time, C invested remaining capital for the whole time. If the total profit was 17.8 lakh, what is B share? Actually, if you want to say that profits ratio means simply we will say investment into time period ratio. But coming to this particular problem, the problem is he has not given the direct investments and time periods. Instead, he gave part of the investments that they made and part of the time periods that they are in the business. Right? So, if you want to go with the, uh, that means he has given investments point of view, something, some information, some information regarding time periods. Sure, that is why we can do it. But what happens is directly we won't get the idea. Okay. So first I will explain you the process deferred. Okay. So process deferred means let us think of investment only. And now here I am writing about only investments. Okay. Or yes, capitals. Let us imagine the total capital is C. Our total investment is how much? C rupees. Okay. So that C rupees only makes us problem. Okay. That is the reason I don't take it as C. How I will take is so, sir, it is A invested one fifth capital. B invested one fourth capital. Okay. C invested the remaining capital. Okay. Sir, I do not want any fraction, right? If I take it as a C, then what happens? So, one fifth means one by five C and one fourth means one by four C, right or wrong? So, I do not like it. Okay. Am I right or wrong? So, this is about A and this is about B. That is the reason what I will do is 
I will take some other number such that I do not get any fraction. I do not get any fraction means 5 and 4 multiple simply I have to take. 5 and 4 multiple is how much? 20 means I do not take it as C rupees sir. The total amount I will take it as 20 rupees. Okay. So, 20 rupees if I take 1 by 5 into 20 means 4 rupees is the investment of A. 1 by 4 into 20 that is 5 rupees is the investment of B and coming to see the remaining amount means out of 20 I have to remove these two that is 4 and 5, 4 plus 5 I remove 9. So, 20 minus 9 is how much 11 rupees. So, this is investments point of view. Now, it is easy for us. Similarly, go with the time also, Okay, time period. So, instead of taking total time as T, let us imagine the time in such a way that Okay, where you won't get any decimal. So, one third duration and he said half of the duration. What are the denominators? 2 and 3. Just multiply them. 2, 3 are how much? 6. Means the total duration might be 6 months, 6 days, 6 years, anything, 6 parts something. So, A's investment is for one third duration that is one third of 6. That is 2, 2 days, 2 months, 2 years, whatever. B is invested for half of the 6. Now, you tell me what is the time period for C. Everybody will say that 1 is the 1. That is the perfect wrong answer. See, you said that 6, 2 plus 3, 5 removed and you got 1. But if you read the question, C invested the remaining capital for the whole time. Hope you understand. In this model, quite common mistake that the students will do is that is the one time period they will take it as one. No, C is in the business for the whole time. Whole time means all the six uh, he is in the business. Since we know investments and time periods, happily we can solve it. Okay. So, what we can say? Investment of A is 4 into time period is 2. B is 5 into time period is 3. C is uh, 11 into time period is 6. In this ratio, they have to distribute, right? Happily cancel with the uh, 2. No, nothing is possible. Okay. So, it will be 8 is to 15 is to 66. In this ratio, they have to distribute the profits. Total profit is 17.8 lakh. B share. B share means 15 out of total means you have to add it. 8 plus 15 is 23. 23 plus 66 is 89 into 17.8 lakhs, 17.8 lakhs, okay. Forget about the decimals, 18 in ones, 18 in twos, okay. Now, decimal is there means 0 0.2, 15 twos are 30, if you keep the decimal, it will be 3 lakhs. What is the share of B? It is 3 lakhs, okay. So, which option is the answer? Second option is the answer. So, this is known as the processed food, means I have clearly made the food for you, right or wrong? Okay. Sir, I do not want any processed food, sir. I will go with the direct one. Okay. So, A's investment is one fifth of the capital. So, 1 by 5 into, let us take the total capital as C rupees. And the duration is one third of the time. So, one third of the time. Coming to B, B invested one fourth of the capital for half of the time. One fourth of the capital for half of the time. Okay. C invested the remaining capital. This one you have to observe. Sir, let us say total capital be C rupees. Okay. From that, I have to subtract 1 by 5C plus 1 by 4C because the remaining is this is the one, right? Okay. So, 5 and 4, sorry, 4 and 5, 9 by 20C. Okay. What is the C's in which, sorry, we have to subtract uh, from the C, right? Okay. So, C minus, this is how much? 9 by 20C. Okay. C minus, then it will be? 20 minus 9, so 11 by 20 C. Okay. So, C's investment is 11 by 20 C into time period is full time he is in the business. So, T. So, can I say in this ratio they have to distribute the profits? Okay. So, then what happens? Cancel with the C and T everywhere C and T are common, right? Okay. Cancel. Okay. Now, so what we have to do is, so first of all, I have to multiply with 5 threes are 15, 4 twos are 8 and a 20. So, for these three numbers, we have to take the LCM. The LCM for 15 and it is 8 and it is 20. Okay. All are divisible by 120. All are divisible by 120 means I will multiply each one to get 120. So, I will multiply each one with 120. I will multiply with 120. I will multiply this one also with 120. Why I am multiplying with 120? So, that the denominators will get vanished. Okay. So, 5 3s are 15, 15 means 
8 times. 4 twos are 8 means 15 times. Okay, and uh, 21 is 26 is 6 into 11 is 66 is the share of C and 15 parts and 8 parts. Now, if you verify, you got the same answer or not here, verify 8 is to 15 is to 66. Okay. So, when compared to this, I will suggest that one. Okay. Suppose if you take across the nation exams, CAT examination, bank examination, okay, even SSC examination or civils examination. So, I will say this is the best one for you. Okay, group 1, 2 or uh, SI constable, VRO, VRA, gate or etc, uh, etc, et CSAT, not CSAT, sorry, uh, it is for uh, CRT programs, etc, etc, this is, this is enough, okay. Hope you understand which is a better one for you, okay. So, means based on the examination we have to go, why because if you observe uh, in CSAT examination, CAT examinations or bank SSC, this type of calculations many places you will get. Then every time if you try to process, it will be a difficult one. Go with the raw, happy to handle raw. Okay, if you are going for, uh, as I said, group 1, 2, etc. Okay, much, much difficult questions will not be given in general. So, this is okay for you. Okay, good. Let us go for the next one. Okay, A invested one fourth capital for one fifth duration, B invested one fifth for one third of the time, C invested the remaining capital for the Total time, if the total profit is 28 lakhs, what is B share in lakhs? Similar question, right? First you try it, then I will explain. Right, see the solution for it. As usual, I am going with the process referred. So, fourth denominator coming to capital point of view, fifth. Four and five means I will imagine the total capital as 20. Okay. So, this time I do not write each and every step. Okay. You have to understand. So, there are three characters A, B and C, one fourth of 20 means 5 rupees A invested, one fifth of 20 means 4 rupees B invested, means C invested the remaining 11 rupees, okay. Coming to time period, this is 5 and this is 3, 5, 3 means let us imagine the total time as 15, okay. A invested for one fifth of 15 that is 3 months and coming to be one third of 15 that is 5 months. And coming to see what he said, remaining capital for the total time. Total time means all the 15 months. Okay. This is the process referred. Next, if you observe, anything cancels? Yes, we can cancel with 5. 5, 5, 5, 3 is. Okay. It will be 3 is to 4 is to 33. In this ratio, they have to distribute the profits. Total profit is 28 lakhs. He is asking about the B share. Okay. B share means what we have to do? B is 4 out of Total means 3 plus 4, 7 plus 33 is 40, okay, into 28 lakhs, okay, 4 tens, 4 sevens, okay, 7 fours are 28 by 10 means 2.8 lakhs. How many of you got this answer? Right, this is the answer for this one. 